the walls of Egyptian civilization, the Greek and Indian sculptures share the same math concept. Can you guess what it is? All of them have used what is known as the serpentine curve or the S curve. The word serpentine means snake-like. It's convex in the center and flanked by the concave ends. Like the word implies, the serpentine curve resembles the motion of snakes. Named and classified by Sir Isaac Newton, the serpentine curve is represented on a Cartesian plane by this cubic equation, y is equal to abx by x square plus a square. When plotted on a graph, it looks like this. And this is not an obscure theoretical concept. It has many practical applications and is all around us. If you've observed, roads and railway tracks use the serpentine curve. This is because surveyors use the S curve to connect parallel roads or railway tracks. They're especially helpful when constructing roads on hilly terrains where two lines intersect at a small angle. The S curve is also seen in architecture. In fact, a group of Egyptian excavators in the late 19th century discovered sites with walls that used the S-curve design. Also known as crinkle-crankle walls, they were built about 3,400 years ago as they were stronger and more durable than a straight wall with the same number of bricks. The application of the S-curve does not end here. Ancient Greek and Indian sculptors used it as an art concept. It was used to make the sculptures appear more aesthetic by giving them an illusion of motion. In the Indian tradition, the popular Nataraja sculpture with the Tribanga pose uses the S-curve. The prevalent pose dates back at least 2000 years in Indian art and is considered to add liveliness and rhythm to an inanimate object. Further ahead in 1753, renowned painter William Hogarth, in his seminal work, The Analysis of Beauty, he purported that beauty is achieved through the serpentine line. He called it the line of beauty. The serpentine curve, according to his theory, signifies a lively activity that attracts the viewer's attention as compared to parallel or straight lines that imply inactivity or death. The serpentine curve is one of the many examples of exciting math applications in art. What do you think? Is the serpentine curve a symbol of beauty? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and do not forget to like, share and follow.